Today we're gonna to be going back to school and I'm giving away a whole bunch of freebies, but stay tuned for how you can win some of that later in the video. Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada, I specialize in sports videography. And today I'm gonna to be testing my video editing knowledge, I suppose, by taking a bunch of online trivias and quizzes about videography and video editing. I actually am not totally sure whether or not there's like gaps in my knowledge of theory of video editing. Like the practical side and the technical side is all good, but I don't totally know about the rest because I never finished school for that. So we're gonna do some quizzes today and just see uh, just how much I know in terms of video editing, I guess, um, from an academic perspective. And hey, who knows, maybe you, there's a little bit of a gap in your knowledge, you can pick up on something as well. But for every question I get wrong, I'm giving away a copy of my sport video LUT pack that I use to color all of my videos. And uh, yeah, just that's all gonna go to people who comment down below. I'm gonna let you know what to comment at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's get into these quizzes. All right, so we got this first one, Video Editing 101 Trivia Questions Quiz. I just went to this website called proprofs.com. It's literally the first website that comes up when you Google like video editing trivia quiz or whatever. Do you know anything about video editing? Video rewriting is the manipulation and composition of video shots. Video editing is used to structure and present all video information, including films, television shows, blah, 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 or whatever. We're gonna try this one. It's almost midnight when I'm filming this. Not to like break out the excuses so early, but I'm not feeling super confident because I'm pretty tired right now. Um, but let's get into it. In old Hollywood, people often started the movie making careers in the video editing room. Why? It paid the least amount of money, it was the easiest task for a new person to learn, it didn't require any skill, it allowed new people to learn about all aspects of movie making. It's gotta be the last one. We're doing great. Camera work is at the center of video production. Well, this is an editing quiz, so I'm just gonna assume that editing is at the center of video production. All right. What is at the center of video production? This is an editing quiz, probably editing. There were three for three. All right, maybe I know more than I thought. Editing is the process of cutting out the bad parts. Uh, like, yeah, that's what my videos are anyways um, on this channel. But it was a little bit more than that, so we're gonna go false. You gotta at least like tell a story and sometimes that story comes together in the editing bay. So that makes a lot of sense. Editing is almost an art form because you have to know what to cut to make people look good. You're trying to cover up the mistakes of the director and cameraman. You, <laughs> that's kind of funny to read out loud. You are blending together images and sound to make it a connected piece. It's not really an art, it's just moving things around to look good. Eh. Yeah, like, yeah, kinda. No, you're, you're, you're making a connected piece. Editing is making a connected piece. So we're doing good, we're still doing perfect. How is the power of editing shown with the video of the man and the baby? What man and what baby? There's, I literally just clicked on an internet quiz and like, well, this this is purely, this question makes no sense. I don't know what they're talking about. So this is just a guess. So someone, someone's getting some lots out of this one. Let's say that we're not aware the baby and the man can't see each other. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, the next time I have to guess one, I'm probably not gonna get it right. Um, the, 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 we're moving on, moving on. What do they mean that one plus one equals three or 50 in editing? It means editing, I've never heard of that by the way. I've never heard that in my life. But it means editing allows you to play tricks on the mind of the viewer. It means editing is hard to explain to others. It means editing makes no sense to anyone. <laughs> it means that sometimes you just have to guess because there isn't the right answer. Yeah, you know what? I'm torn between it allows you to play tricks in the mind of the viewer or sometimes you have to guess because there isn't the right answer. You know that? I'm gonna go with A. All right. I, I'm actually shocked that I haven't got one wrong yet because I fully expected to be getting like most of these wrong. What is different about the editing of the second clip of the same man and a woman? What are these clips they are referencing in this quiz? I haven't watched any of this stuff, but we're gonna say A and C. I don't know what it means. I, I can't explain this, I'm sorry. When watched by an audience, side-by-side -side shots, tell a story, seem linked, don't always flow together, all of the above, none of the above. I was gonna say all of the above. Yeah, it makes sense. In the, what third clip? 
This is clearly based on something that I just didn't watch. We're, we're gonna start powering through these. In the third clip, the editor convinces the audience that the man is hungry. How? Um, all of the above, sure. All right, <laughs> we finally got a random question based on a clip that I have not seen wrong. So uh, added to the counter, we got one LUT pack being given away and uh, yeah, one wrong question for me. Editors should use their power for good and not evil. What does the tutorial include this statement? Why does it, what tutorial? What, this doesn't make, what, whatever. Editor can build a story to look any way they choose. Yeah, that seems about right. All right, in the football video, haven't seen a football video. One person able to cover four shots simultaneously. How? At least this, this is actually about sports videography. So even though I haven't seen the video, maybe we can get it since like that's kind of what we do here. Um, it's impossible. No, I've actually talked about shooting to get multiple camera angles of the same subject before in other tutorials that I've done like a long time ago. I did one about like shooting workout videos where I talked about this pretty in depth, but I think we can actually figure this out just based off of previous knowledge. So he edited the shots in the beginning of the game into shots in the end of the game. He had a friend also taking video. He stole the footage from whatever cameraman. Probably he edited shots from the beginning of the game with shots from the end of the game. I do that pretty regularly when I need multiple camera angles. So this makes a lot of sense. It makes me feel like I actually know something even though I didn't go to school. Well, I, I did, but I didn't finish. It is fine to edit together a variety of shots. True, as long as no, it's close to the original event. Editing is an art form, everyone knows not what really happened. I kind of just want to, uh, let's go with that. Oh, I, okay, I thought I could only pick one. I didn't realize I had to pick three. We're gonna put that up as another fat L. Um, so that's too wrong. <laughs> a group of shots filmed at different times, but edited together is called a montage. That's, that's the same thing. They know what I was trying to say. See, this is what I mean by like not knowing the academic stuff. Like, it's a you can it's a montage, a sequence. Like that's the same thing. We're talking about a bunch of shots cut together in a series that like aren't from the same time. Anyways, whatever. That's a, I'm being super salty right now. But, <laughs> but as a as three questions wrong. And uh, we're moving on. Made a new show with 60 minutes, have edited together shots taken at different times. This is true. Often used to establish the setting or location of a film, what is the most common order for a sequence? Start with a wide, then zoom to a close up. Start with a wide, then cut to a close up. Yes, that one. A wide shot gives you perspective? Setting. Same. Same thing. That means the same thing. Close up provides. Like, what do you even say here? Detail? Information? I'm, I'm gonna write detail and just see what happens. Hooray! We got one. If ending with a wide shot, use the same shot you used at the start to remind the audience of location. Don't ever use a wide shot to end a sequence, just continue to get tighter, just zoom out. Use a different wide shot than the one you started with. I would like to not use the same wide shot you started with, that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. And you definitely can finish with a wide shot, that's perfectly okay. So I'm gonna say use a different wide shot than the one you started with. A matched cut and editing means there's continuity from one shot to the next. You have good matches. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. You have to freeze between, people have to freeze between shots while filming. No, it doesn't mean that. None of the above. It does mean there's continuity from one shot to the next. A matched cut is like when you have two shots where like the composition and the shape are similar. So like if we have a shot of me sitting here like this and then you cut to someone else sitting at their desk talking to a camera in the same framing on a wide lens like this, that'd be a match cut. Um, I, 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 there is continuity from one shot to the next in a match cut, but I don't know if that's exactly the answer they're looking for. I'm just gonna pick it. Yeah, okay, cool, we're good. Editing is invisible if you only use perfectly matched cuts, the audience doesn't notice the editing, you're able to count the shots, both A and B, both A and C, both B and C. Yeah, you definitely don't wanna count the shots if the editing is invisible, so we're gonna go A and B. Actually, you don't need to use match cuts if your editing is invisible. I'll say the audience doesn't notice the editing. You can have like good clean editing that goes unnoticed without having a match cut every single time. Well, I guess with their definition of a match cut that only that there's continuity from one shot to the next. Then yeah, I guess that applies. To get a cut right, you need a good actor who will follow direction perfectly every time. 
a good editor who will spend the time to match things up perfectly, a good director who will order a variety of shots, a good cameraman who will keep it rolling just in case, all but mostly B. I'm going to say all but mostly B. Yeah. Of course, the video editing quiz is leaning super heavily on the editor and just like super favoring them. Like, yeah, you need every role on a set, but you really need the editor. The others can kind of just be whatever. Like, yeah, all right. If your goal is invisible editing, hint, it should be, I guess, then you should be making cuts before action, during action, after action. You should be making your cuts during action. So if, I, you probably know this, I, ho I hate to go into detail. But like, let's say I'm picking up this water bottle. Like there's a process of me like taking my hand and grabbing the water bottle and bringing the water bottle back to me. You don't want to cut here before I've gone to get the water bottle. And you don't want to cut here when the water bottle's in my hand. You want to cut either during this motion while my hand's moving to get the water bottle. So like there, or you want to cut while I'm pulling the water bottle back like this. It just kind of like well, cutting while actions are happening just makes edits flow smoother, especially for sports videography. This is like really, really important. You don't want to cut while someone's like standing there holding a basketball. You want to cut while they're dribbling, when they throw down a really hard dribble and they're about to pick up their dribble and go for a layup. As that dribble is coming up off the ground, cut to a next shot of them having the dribble come off the ground as they like go to grab the ball and take their gather steps to go and like shoot their layup or whatever. That kind of makes your edit flow a little better. And when you can plan, and that applies to all sports, not just basketball, but when you can like actually go through your edit, consistently cutting on action, especially for sports videos, it's so huge. It makes a really big difference and it makes videos go from amateur to professional like re really quick, it's very noticeable. A jump cut should be avoided. It is making cuts before action, joining clips that are too similar when someone jumps while filming, that's okay. Avoided by zooming, eh. Joining clips that are too similar. The only place you can make a jump cut is, you can cover a jump shot with a different angle of the shot, a different shot altogether. You can't cover it both A and B, both the issue. A and B, you can cover a jump cut with a different angle of the shot, which I don't have right now or else I would show you, or a different shot altogether. You should always film things coming and going from the same direction during one scene. Yes, this is true. This is called the 180 degree rule. What are two opposing forces in editing? Two groups fighting over editing a scene, having things move in from two different directions to create tension. Indians coming from the left and cowboys coming from the right. All right, sure. 180 degree rule. Um, I guess having having things move from two different directions to create tension, this kind of like seems like the only real answer. All the other ones kind of seem like jokes. Um, yeah, and that's right. Okay. How many more questions? Do we? we have four more questions left in this. Wow. Okay. If you're liking this video so far, go and drop a like. Um, if you're not liking this video so far, <laughs> if you don't like this concept, then try it out. Then I'm sorry. I guess I won't do it again. Um, but if you're enjoying it, go drop a like on this video. I'd really appreciate that. Allowing the actors or objects to leave and re-enter the frame can solve issues relating to screen direction. True. What does it mean to marry, quote unquote, picture and sound? Adding narration and music to complement the action. All right, we're doing great. And we've got three questions left. I feel pretty good about this. Bad editing can ruin a good movie, true or false? That is very true. Good editing can save a bad movie. Maybe? Uh, sure. All right, view my results. Ooh, a certificate of achievement. I got a score of 84 out of 100 on video editing 101 trivia questions quiz on what is now April 19th, 2022, because it's now 12.01 a.m. Anyways, um, thank you, Pro Profs Quizmaker. There is a whole bunch of other quizzes on here. Maybe I can do some other quizzes that are like kind of related to like, pseudo video editing. Um, if you like this video, oh, you know what? I, I was about to, the giveaway. I didn't talk about the giveaway. I was gonna talk about the giveaway. So for every question I got wrong there, and I think there was Bye. some of them, um, editor Peter's gonna correct that if it's wrong. But for every question I got wrong there, I'm giving away a copy of my sports video, LUT Pack. Just comment in the comment section below what one goal you have is for the rest of the year. I wanna hear about what you guys are hoping to accomplish for the rest of 2022. What goals do you have for yourself as a videographer, as a video editor, maybe just in your personal life. Maybe you wanna like go, and get, go to the gym more. Maybe you wanna eat better. Maybe you got a job that you're after that you really wanna land. Whatever it is, go drop those goals in the comment section. I wanna hear about what you're really up to. And I'm gonna go through and randomly pick five comments for people who comment their goals in the comment section. I'm gonna hook you up with my LUTs. 
Um, but yeah, if you like the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos for sports videographers on a regular basis, specifically once every week on Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And I'd love to have you around for that. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, if you really want to enter the contest to get those free LUTs, drop a comment. If you like this video, let me know by hitting the like button and the subscribe button. And that was going to be all for this week. So until next time, peace.